What's going on everybody? It's the Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the channel. So last night during the Beastly Thoughts video game live stream, we played some Destiny. We played the Vault of Glass Raid. Now, being level 26 and someone who kind of gravitated away from Destiny, I had never had an opportunity to play uh, the uh, Vault of Glass. I never played the raid, and I was never able to beat it. We actually tried it before, and uh, we, we backed out after about an hour and a half, close to two hours, because we were unable to successfully beat the raid. But last night, we actually did this. We beat the raid. I had a hell of a time, and... Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting back into Destiny. I mean, last night it kind of brought me back into the fold and uh, made me feel brand new, so to speak. I got some awesome weapons from doing the raid. Uh, I have all the, the raid weapons from the Vault of Glass now, so which is actually pretty damn cool. If you guys want to see the reaction of my teammates when they find out what I got as drops, stay tuned to the end of this video. But that's not what this video is about. This video is actually about something I saw today which just really, uh, it amazed me. The Crota's End Raid is something I have never tried and I've never done any of it so far. But I know it's hard. I I've talked to people who played it. Brian Rabbit told me about it. And I've seen somebody do this thing solo. I've actually seen two people do it solo. And I wanted to tell you guys about this. And uh, it's actually something I'm, I'm willing to try, but I'm not the right class. It looks like this is a hunter class and I am a... Uh, a warlock so maybe I'll have to level up a hunter character to do it the way that these guys are doing it but uh, there's a guy his channel is called the legend himself there will be a link in the description of him going through the entire uh, uh, Crota's End raid by himself and the exploit that he uses is invisibility which is really awesome the way this guy does it but he goes through Beach Crota and uh, it's really really uh, entertaining to watch so I'd ask you guys to click on the link to check out that video. There's also another guy. Uh, his name is Iroom Ozone, who beat Crota in about 9 minutes and 34 seconds. Solo by himself. Uh, and he's also another hunter. And uh, this kind of makes me want to try out the hunter class because this, this extra ability is really awesome. You guys let me know what you think about these solos. Have you seen it? Can you do it? Can you solo a raid. I know you can't solo the raids in uh, the Vault of Glass, but Crota's, Crota's End Raid looks like it can be soloed relatively easy if you know how to exploit your moveset and if you know where to be. So you guys check out these videos. Make sure you comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, they're actually really fun to watch. It really uh, is exciting. You guys check them out. Let me know what you think about these solo raids and uh, get back to me in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and you guys always know I appreciate the thumbs up and support. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. I forgot. I don't know what this <laughs> one was, but it looks pretty slick. Vision of Confluence. Oh, you oh, like that. Oh, dude, awesome. really? Yeah. That's awesome. Lock? That's awesome. That's a, that's a good drop. <laughs> yeah. You got set up, PC. You got, you got the heavy, and you got the uh, primary. That's a, oh that's, a good, uh, that's a good raid right there. <laughs> oh yeah. my goodness. All three of my weapons are legendary now, Brian. I got the Vision of Confluence, uh, Pray to Revenge, gun is and um, Corrective Measure. <laughs> you got all the raid <laughs> guns. Oh god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Damn you, Bungie! <laughs> that's awesome, man. That's awesome. <laughs> oh wow, that's fucking sick.